Hello my friends, I'm Sun Tanab back for episode 3 of the French Revolution. Yes, we are back with the third episode. What an episode we had last time round and oh my god, I can't wait to use this squad that we've now acquired. Just look at it, we now have three informs available, two silvers, three silvers, four golds and then the one bronze Atcher up front. I don't really want to get rid of him as of yet because he has been insane I mean the stats so far that he's produced for me have been immense especially in the last episode I don't know how many goals he scored but I think in total last episode we scored like 14 goals from three games or something ridiculous like that but wow it was immense so we're straight away hopping into division 9 now a new division uh, we won the title of the last division, which I was expecting to do anyway, because it's not difficult to do to win a title in Division 10. So we're just going to hop in straight and look for the next game and just try to emulate what we produced in the last episode. So we've come up against so we've come up against Verona AC. Toff the lad is the guy, a guy's account who's running the team. I'm not sure what his team will look like. He's running a 4-4-2 by the looks of things. 72 rated, so the best team we've come up against so far. He has a French team, Lacazette. I'm not sure about any of the other players. I think that's Grenier. Uh, he's basically built Lyon, Olympic Lyonnais. And that's not a bad looking team at all. I don't know why he's called it Verona AC and then built Lyonnais. It makes no sense. But yeah, we should beat him with the team we have. I'm hoping we can. We have the ability. We have the likes of Cabello now, who's already doing work. Ah, oh, he didn't get rid of the last man. As of late, oh my god, Lacazette. Oh, he deserves to be running up. This guy should so be running up. I don't know what my keeper's doing there. My keeper may have just, oh no, he didn't. I was lucky that his player so terrible. Oh my god, Clichy, what are you doing up front? What are Clichy? I don't know why Clichy's up front. He just got so brave. And Bassat's having to cover. Oh no, not even Bassat. Mounier is covering. Bassat has been useless so far this game. Can he do something here now? Gets the ball to Martin. Martin is too small to turn his man. I mean, look at the height difference between those two. That is ridiculous. Clichy. Oh, Clichy, man. This guy is destroying me. Literally destroying me. Ugh. We don't deserve to be 0-0. We honestly don't. The team's playing so badly. The boys have lost all hope. Who is this bald man who's replaced you? Cabello knocks the ball forward to Atra. Atra touches it down badly, but still gets a shot away. Oh. It's our first attack. Oh, man. We didn't really deserve much from that, to be honest. It was lucky the touch from Atra. It wasn't a very good one, but it did sort of bounce perfectly for the volley. That was a good tackle. Oh my god, how has he kept that? How has he kept that? Our keeper, Jordren, is doing work right now. Nope, he's not, because I had to go and talk. So we're losing 1 0 for the first time in a long time, and I'm not liking it. Oh, come on. He has. Acho has had nothing to do, he's been released once and just couldn't get anything away with the shot. Oh my god, this guy is so good. Boys, 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 no. Ah, alright, we're making some changes. This is not working. Team we have that I thought would do so much has done so little, and it is depressing. It's depressing playing with such a, t a team that I was so positive about, and nothing's coming of it right now. Uh, we're gonna bring up Goofran. He might end up dying just at some point during the game because of fitness, but I can't keep Basat on. Basat has been so bad all game, and if it keeps carrying on like this, I'm just gonna have to switch back to the 4 2 2 2. Yeah, and just see what we can do with that because that's the formation I was playing with before and it was working. And this 4 3 3 just isn't. I don't know why, but wide players for me on this week just aren't working. Mounier, that was disgusting. 
Oh my god, that should have been Atra's ball, man. Get to that. It didn't switch player. Penalty, fuck's sake. If that switched to Siani when I wanted it to, we wouldn't have given away a penalty there. Like, that's not even my fault. Can we save it? Can Jordan just boost my ego right now, please? No, he can't. Because Lacazette went straight down the middle. Okay. We're going to switch up the formation because I'm not liking this at all. Uh, at the moment we're going to lose players and with the team I have I don't want to lose anyone because that would be so shit. Um, where's 4 2 2, two? Oh, It's not actually one of them. Oh my god, this fucking one touch passing is getting on my go. Another pen! Oh my god, referee! What is wrong with you? Oh my lord, Rami came into contact with him and he sort of tackled his feet a bit, but I didn't even do that. I didn't press any buttons. <sighs> this is not good. We went, I. What? Oh, he hit it just on the underside of the crossbar. Sure, Trent might even be man of the match. Oh my lord. What? Why would my player head for it so close to our goal? This game. Oh my god. I'm lost for words, I'm actually just speechless man, Jordren has played well, he hasn't deserved to concede 5, um, everyone else has played shocking, Basat was useless, Mounier played shit, uh, Gufran, I brought him on at like 6-5 minutes so I can't really hate him, um, Kabea didn't do anything, I played doing everything down the left and I had better players on the right. Sissoko didn't do anything all game, he ended up getting brought back to left back of all positions, I completely forgot about. Oh, who are we losing? It looks like the player we lose is Johan Gufran, who has again been a good player for me and I didn't want to lose him. Uh, but Gufran has to be moved, it means we could put another centre mid in, maybe put Racco back on or play another more attacking game, look at those stats, look at those stats, and we still have no points in Division 9, so that game, that shocking effort game, I don't even want to call it a game, because we just got destroyed, that absolute destruction from him, means we lose Gufran, which I'm not happy about, that's just because I brought him on at half time, I should have realised to be honest, um, so we're just going to hop straight into the next game, there's going to be no Gufran on the bench or in the team, um, Atra and Goo, alright, so Goo Fran is not playing either way, so we're gonna bring back Kerry for a game, see what he can do. Uh, we're gonna switch up the formation because I'm not using that formation again. Uh, alright, so we're back for the next game with this drastically reduced in skill team. We've only been there for three of our informs. We now only have five goal players on the pitch. We've gone back to four bronzes and then we have Jordren in goal. Jordren didn't deserve to concede as many as he conceded in the last game so I have no hostility towards him as a player. It was just the players he had around him didn't perform to what they should have or could have. So we're switching back to the classic 4-2-2-2 that we're so used to and we love so much because of how well we played and we just really want to draw some players out of the pot this game because of how terrible the last game was. <sighs> so we have finally found an opponent, we can't get Mon to 95 and Leipzig FC. Oh, hopefully we can have a much better game than we just had. I don't want to upload three losses in an episode because that will just make me want to stop doing the series. Uh, because it will just depress me if we keep losing games. Like I said before, oh, this looks like a team we can beat. Oh, he has Griezmann on loan, and he's playing him up front. Oh my lord. We should be losing. We should be losing again. This team has done so little again, and 
we don't deserve to be drawing still. Achar has been released. Do what you were doing in Division 10, Achar. Big ball, big hit. Oh, come on. No. We needed that. We needed that so badly. Zorlu. Alright, come on. We have a corner. We haven't had a corner for a while. This is the bad side for corners, in my opinion. Because it means... Oh, my God. Clichy. I take everything back. Clichy. Oh, my God. Cleared off the line. You've got to be kidding me. Clichy again. Oh, Lord. No. On this team can, for some reason. Or they can, I just haven't seen it yet. Siani, cheeky back heel, Lavanon, out to Harry. Harry knocks it forward to Achar. Can't turn his man because he turns it into him, even though I pressed R1 for him to dummy it. Oh my god, Griezmann is not that strong, okay? Like, he may be a decent player, but he's not that strong. If this. How? How has he scored that? I'm so lost. I'm actually so lost right now. That makes no sense to me. <laughs> he's just left with no one to pass to. Like, Cabea's out wide, but he's not moving forward. Fucking Paye's out wide, but he's not moving forward. He's not doing what he's supposed to do in that position. Thank you, Cabello, for showing some flair, showing some energy, doing something for his team. And oh my God, is that theirs? You've got to be kidding me! His player slide tackled the ball, and it still somehow hits Cabello. If that hit Cabello, it would have stayed on. Oh my Lord, fuck this game! I'm so done after. I knew it! I knew it! He's one of those players who will pass to the one player he has on his team and just utilize it. It's like when someone has a Ronaldo or a Messi. All they do is just throw ball to that player, pass to that player, do what they can with that player, just score as many goals as possible with that player. <laughs> ah, my hands were not even on my controller and my goalie gets brave and starts running for the fucking ball. That's going to bounce over him or something dodgy, isn't it? Oh my lord, Siani could have so easily scored a header then. Oh god, header. What a header we want. I might just have to switch back to my all bronze team again. Because I'm not liking what we have in Or just the team I had. Oh lord, fucking Griezmann again. Why am I not surprised? Can the game just end now? Please. Just do a guy up. Give a guy a break and just end the game, ref, please. Because Griezmann has become the most ugly pair in the world. Like, the shit he's done this game. Alright. So, second game of the episode, we lost again. It didn't lose quite as badly, but I think I'm just going to switch back to the team I had in the last episode. Or as close to that as possible. We're going to take out all the informs. We're going to switch back to our all bronze team again. Yeah. Um, we're going to look at who we lost as well, because obviously we lose a player for that game. Um, the ratings are, if it pops up, the lowest rated player from that game was Remy Cabello. So, 30k, just down the drain, he turned out to be completely useless, he didn't score for me, he didn't get an assist. In the two games we played, we both lost, so... I guess losing him is not that bad. I mean, a player we draw out of the hat in the future, we can just leave and then keep or bring Kabea back, rather. But I'm not happy. Um, I'm really not happy because that was a very, very shoddy performance from everyone all round. And <clears throat> our record has been depleted. Okay, guys, for the third and final game of this episode, hoping we can do a lot better than we have done. We've switched up a bit. We are throwing all of our pace up front. We've kept Paye on because Paye hasn't had an opportunity to show him what he can do. We brought back Martin. Clichy is injured, so we've had to bring back Amavi. We're keeping Rami and Siani in the defence. Parpe didn't have an opportunity to show up in the last game either. We brought Rako back, so he has 90 pace, so it's now just being fueled 
all into our attack because we need another attacking dominant game. We need a game like we used to have in Division 10. And we still want to keep a bit of gold talent in the team, um, a bit of flair, and we don't want to completely lose that. So what we want to do is just win. Um, a win would be amazing. A player out of the pot would be amazing. Um, hopefully to get a new striker would be amazing because I really can't keep Zulu and Acha. They're just not that good. Um, for Division 9, instantly you saw a difference in how defences were playing and Acha and Zulu couldn't do anything to penetrate defences. Even like of Kabea couldn't do anything to attack a defence and we played shockingly in the, those last two games. To finally come up against a player, I can't see what his team's called or anything like that. Um, and those are juniors, I think, is the squad. Um, this guy is quick. This guy is snappy. 74 rated team, 74 chemistry. Yes, like of Kagawa, Mobile, Blaschkowski, Bender, Quadrado, Dante, uh, and then three other gold non-rare players. Oh, yeah, non-rare players, and then two fucking bronzes. Oh my god, Quadrado. I have Quadrado, Chelsea version on my other team. His pace alone is just enough to destroy defences, and we've switched back to a two bronze player defence. I mean, Amavi has 82 pace, which isn't too bad. Who is this Gutierrez guy? Just, oh my god, it's laggy. This is the worst possible thing for this. We need a win, and we're lagging. Um, come against the best team so far. Alright, we don't want to give away any penalties this game. Pae releases Mounier, or tries to, but Mounier can't reach the ball. Alright, Pae wins it again. Releases Plea down the middle, flicks it over his man, or tries to, and then releases Mounier. Mounier. The lag is fucking us up. Oh my god, big head! We're, we're up 1 0 already. We are 1 0 already. What a start, boys. Racco has come out. After being on the bench for the past 3-4 games and scored, and I knew it, I knew it was that. I knew we just needed to switch something up, I knew our game meta was off, and if we can just keep playing how we're playing, and uh, it could be a victory like we used to be getting, guys. The revolution seems to be back on, and that's cheered me up a bit, that has. Why is that f Oh my lord, referee. Leave me alone, okay? Ah, I must have already given up about three fouls in this game, and we're like third of the way through. Oh my lord, tackle! Big head, please, big head. Oh my lord. Slide tackle, I don't know why slide tackle does a waste of time, but 1-1, one, one, we're drawing, the French Revolution hasn't been stopped, like I said, I was literally just about to say before they scored, that this is the hardest team we've come up against, and it's the best performance we've put out, with our worst team as well, um, worst team of the episode even, um, and to be honest, like, they can, they can score as much as they want, I would very much just like to win, like, a draw would be nice because a point, but I'd very much like a win because I'd very much like a player out of that pot because I need a striker. And like to is, I won't put out a striker just because I have more wing play. Oh, Racco again is through. He does it. Racco is playing like Acha, but he's a cam and he has 90 pace. An instant, instant reply. Just shut down their goal. This is exactly what I meant. This is the exact sort of game I wanted. The pace has been released. Granted, it's sweaty as fuck, but... I needed this, I really, really needed this. It's so nice being able to just play my football, play how I want to play. The whole team is there rallying around Racco because they know how much this means to them. They know how much free points I mean from this game. Oh my god, boys, come on. This lag's getting bad again. Oh, Paye, what have you done? Right, he keeps it. He gets a ball for Tamunier. Turns his man, releases plea. Oh no, he doesn't because he's a fucking defender. I don't know why I passed. I should have kept going with Mounier. Had another shot with Mounier, missed the shot with Mounier, and then been annoyed at Mounier. Paye is a beast. He hasn't scored, uh, but he's just playing incredible. What on earth? Alright, I'll just take everything back. 
That's probably weird. Oh my god, Mata! Mata! Where did that come from? Mata is a 74 rated centre mid and he knuckleballed it. Alright, I take back everything. Alright, retract everything I just said about Paye. He's still a beast. He finally got an assist. Did that go in off the post? Holy shit, Mata. The keeper just left it. What was his keeper doing? What a goal that was from Martin. That's going in the end of the season. Montage, mate. Let's go, boys. A French Revolution's on. <sighs> this is the first time in a long time I've felt nice coming out of a FIFA game. Well, the first time in about 45 minutes. Oh my god, Kagawa, no. Kagawa, no. We need to hold on. We need to hold on. We're not losing this game. We can't. We can't lose. We can't draw. We need a win. We need a win and a player out of that fucking pot. Release Pae. Pae, you've been released, mate. Been released, mate. Oh, the one. His injured player. His injured player fucking tackled Pae. Mounier, one on one again, he can't score, oh my god, if he missed that, I was done with him, I was quick sending him after the game, but finally Mounier gets his goal, it's 4-2, we now have that two goal cushion again, I can't see us losing this boys, just, oh, the team's playing so well again, the chemistry is there in full flow, Paye probably should have scored a goal this game, Mounier should have definitely had more than the one he scored, but, oh, it's so nice to just be back to our old winning ways. And it's a better way to end this episode, I guess. I mean, I would have hated having to end an episode after losing three games. Is that Pae released again? It is, and he turns his man. Turns two men as a crack. Pae showing us why he really is a beast. And that's finally what we can see out of him. Like, wow. Wow, boys! We get two more goals in the last ten minutes and score like and get the five goals. But Paye just destroyed two defenders, one on one. He doesn't miss. I think that's his like first, maybe second shot of this game alone, and he scored it. And Quadrado is now injured, which means Paye is free to roam the left side of the pitch with no worries and no hassle. Come on, play the game. We know you're not happy about being losing, but come on. Get over it. Plea has injured one of his players. Ah, oh, Mounier should have turned him. Because if Mounier had turned him, then we'd have probably been on course for another goal. Release Mounier. No. Not working. Not happening. Paye. Keep it on. Paye. Alright, finally the game's over. It finished 5 2 to the boys. The French Revolution continues as we predicted. We're not even going to bother looking at ratings or anything like that. We just want to skip straight forward to drawing this player out of the pot. Because it's the first time we get to do it this episode, we went from 11 in the last episode to 1 in this. And that's not the sort of decrease you want to see. But yeah, so we're not going to bother looking at the stats. We do get the 3 points in this season, hopefully, unless I disconnect, which would really piss me off. Right, Mounier made a match, I don't think he deserved that at all, I think it should have gone to Martin, uh, 4 out of 10 shots were on target, Martin or Baye should have gone made a match for that game. 536 points, don't bother looking at the stats, we get 3 points, finally in a division, we need 10 more points to win the title and get promoted, and now we're going to skip straight forward to drawing the one player out of the pot. So yes guys, it does feel good to finally have this pot back in my hands, the Ronaldo pot of dreams, filled with pay and aims and just beasts, and we're finally drawing the one player out of the pot, the player we've so long and wanted and deserved, will it be a striker, I'm really hoping for a new striker, just someone I can play up front, can you see a name there guy, oh my lord, another misspelt name, another defender, it's fucking Sacco. Oh, we don't need defenders, we've literally just drawn out all of our centre-backs. I don't think there's many more centre-backs for us to draw out. That's a joke. Fuck. Oh, what a waste. 
What an absolute waste. I'm not happy about that, guys. Okay, my friends, so when we return in the next episode of the French Revolution, this is the team we will be using. We may have to switch up the left back. We may have to actually switch up the formation quite a lot because both of our left backs are injured now. Unless we can find a left mid to put there. Um, we should be able to, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we could put Bassat there for a game. I mean, he has okay pace. Um, I can't see us like losing much with him there. But yeah, this is the team we're going to be using in the next game. It's an okay team. Literally, all we've done is put Sacco in instead of Rami. Um, we can try to get a debut goal with Sacco. I can't see it happening just because it is Sacco. Um, but maybe he might pull off a head or maybe he might do a DNA and score a goal. But this is the team we're going to be playing with, like I said. And yeah, I know this was a very disappointing episode. I do apologize how badly the team played, how badly I personally played. But the third game, we finally came back, started playing our football, playing our way, and we finally started winning again. And that cheered me up a little bit, I guess. But I would have preferred to do a lot better in this episode. We went from 11 players in the last episode to one player out of the pot in this. And that's not how you want to be playing this sort of series at all. But we will improve in the next episode, I'm hoping. As always, I've been I'm Sully. Links to my Twitch and Twitter in the, f in the description below. If you have enjoyed this episode of the French Revolution, then do be sure to leave a like. Leave some comments of more possible rules you think I can add just to switch some things up. And yeah, guys, hope you have enjoyed. As always, I've been I'm sorry. This has been the French Revolution episode 3. And peace.